was a terrifying evening for people living in the northwest community of Huntington Hills. They were told to stay inside their homes as gunfire erupted. And after a lengthy standoff, the suspect in the shooting was shot and killed by police. Kathy Lee reports. A terrifying scene for those living in Huntington Hills. Listen close as gunshots ring out. Just before 5 p.m., police tactical teams descended onto this residential neighborhood, an active shooter in one of the homes. I came out of the house and one of the police officers told me to go back in. I asked why and she said that there was a shooter. The police hawk's helicopter circled above with the bullhorn booming telling residents to take cover. Police have a large perimeter around the house where the shots came from cordon off. People living in this neighborhood have been advised to stay inside and in their basements. Heavily armed officers on the ground moved in to take on the shooter. I didn't know if someone was running around or if they were hiding. Uh, that's when I saw police officers with assault rifles. Just over two hours later, police tweeted out the threat was over, later saying police shot and killed the suspect. The matter continued to escalate, resulting in the discharge of a service firearm, killing one suspect. As officers continue their investigation, they're saying very little about the details leading up to this shooting or details about the shooter. Nearby, a Calgary Transit bus was cordoned off with police tape and a bullet hole can be seen in the window. Police are appealing to the public for help. Really, if anybody has any information on that incident, uh, directly or indirectly, uh, please contact uh, us. Those living in this normally quiet neighborhood were just glad the frightening ordeal was over. I was just glad it wasn't right beside me and that we had a basement to keep my wife and baby safe, thankfully, and just worried for the police officers as well. They have a tough job and they've got to deal with people with weapons around the city all the time. No one was injured during the incident. Alberta's serious incident response team, Alberta's serious incident response team has been called in to investigate. Kathy Lee, CTV News, Calgary.